Hi guys, it's Lissa from Lissa's Long Yarn here, and um, sorry about light quality. We're having quite a rainy, gloomy day today, so we're going to try and I'm in the living room for a little bit more light, and we're going to try and do our best. I had a couple requests to see my denim fedori, um, more shots of it and pictures, and how I did it. So I'll try and walk you through that and not be too long. Um, first of all, it's just a pair of old blue jeans that I took a slice out of the thigh and slit down the middle. Um, nothing really um, new here. What I did is I followed Ray's video and just did a, a guide out of a piece of cardboard. I can't cut a rectangle to save my life. It always comes out wonky, so I use that as a guide. And then I traced it down on the um, denim, I guess and just cut that out. Um, I found a Tim Holtz charm here that I really like. Seems to really go well. It says capture life's moments, which to me is completely what the Midori is about. Um, on the bookmark I just sort of stuck a couple of beads that I had made. One, um, one is a flat, larger size bead, and it's just held on by a couple smaller rolled paper beads. Um, I lined the denim with uh, canvas paper which is literally just canvas that instead of putting on frames they just pile in a book and seal it so you can rip it off as you need it. It comes in various sizes. I can't fit the pad underneath the camera to show you what it looked like so I will just um, take a picture, put a link down on the bottom so you can see what brand I used. But I don't think it's mat it really matters any piece of canvas you have just sort of stick it on down. Um, I used Eileen's tacky glue and it seems to be holding up quite well. When I was done and cut it out I did have to go in around the edges and secure a couple places that I had missed that I hadn't spread it far enough but it was really sort of an easy process. Here's a couple bits they just sort of stuck in for prettiness or to hold things but I don't really use them. Um, I started out having a section in here for um, like a day timer planner, but I found that I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, to me, it made more sense to put it in my file effects. It just seemed to work better for me. So now I just have a blank book and two lined books. Um, this one I just uh, doodle art, take notes for various classes. Um, little pieces I find I like. Maybe I'll try and draw later. Um, instructions for a ruler that was sent to me. Just bits and pieces. Um, there's the ruler. Came all the way from BC from a special friend of mine, and I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, all of my inserts are homemade because, as I say, I haven't bought a Midori yet, so I wanted to see what I could do first. Here is a six pocket from Pocket Full of Vintage, and I'll put a link to that tutorial down below as well. Um, I just have some sort of stickers here couple business cards, stuff that I might use to sort of brighten it up and lighten it up. Um, I made myself a dashboard and to this I just put a sheet of overhead projector, folded in half and put a couple notches in the end so it won't slide around too badly. My initial thought had been post-its and strips of washi tape, but I didn't land up going with the washi, I've just got post-its. Um, this book I just used for a journal um, general, a few class notes, a few bits and bobs I've picked up. Um, lists, I love doing lists. Washy, washy, washy. And to me to look interesting, I have another journal I use at home too, and this one I sort of pick up depending, you know, where I am and what I'm doing. Um, I find it very fascinating to me how much Shakespeare's birthday decided he deserved a little homage a couple of ideas for canvases I have. Just whatever's going through my head happens to go in here. Um, how much my journal has changed just in, you know, the first half of a book. That it's sort of all writing and borders and decorations, no tape, no no nothing. And then by the time you get sort of towards the end, it, there's a lot more color and a lot more... Um, Tim Holtz stamp I was making a card in it, or a punch. I didn't have to use the whole row of houses, so I stuck the last few down there. It's just interesting to me how much I've sort of evolved. Uh, a couple more lists, easy to find in the middle, movies I'm watching. Um, I had the idea once I put a paper clip on here, and I was going to put stuff like, um, I'm tracking my weight loss, so I don't want anybody to necessarily flip to that, or passwords for stuff like my email and whatever, but then since I've decided to put those in another book, 
that doesn't travel with me, so if I lose it, nothing gone. I decided to go with this for washi, which actually I saw in a file facts video. Um, I just took a little key card and took some strips and wrapped it round and round and round. And then when I need a strip of washi, I'm not limited to, um, you know, either strip that length or a strip that length. I can take as much or as little as I like and then just refill it when I'm done and I don't have to worry about, you know, not having enough or the uh, length I want. Uh, scrap paper, just, you know, notes, appointments type thing. A few more post-its. Here's the other half of my six pocket folder. Um, if I print something off or I'm doing a project and I don't use a full sheet of um, you know, printer paper, I'll just cut down a slide in here, and then if I've got a doodle or want to make a note or whatever and don't necessarily want it here, I can just do it on that and then glue it wherever I want at the time. A couple extra paper clips. Um, my idea for this book had been sort of a, a catch-all, you know, something I need to remember for, you know, an hour or a day or something, or just if I had sort of anything negative I wanted to write out and get out, I could put it in a separate book and then I could dispose of it. It didn't have to be part of my journal. But as you can see, um, yeah, that hasn't gone too far yet. I have it, literally nothing in it. But I like the way it sort of balances out there with three books. So I might leave it in and just use it as a second journal when I get that far. Or I might find another purpose for it. Um, this one I just made out of printer paper. It was really easy to sort of cut down and cut the corners off. And I didn't have to worry about sketch paper or anything. You know, cheap, cheap, three cents a sheet or something. Not even. And then this one I just found some um, I guess we'd actually call it vintage uh, full scap. It's actually from over 20 years ago when I was in high school, and I found a box. And I thought that would be perfect for this to just find out if I could do it and if it could work and if I sort of liked it. So that's about all. Um, extra paper clips, bunny, elephant, pig. My husband bought me. Love them. Um, always clipping extra stuff in until I have time to or access to a glue stick to glue it down. And that's about it. It pretty much goes anywhere with me. And then it's just bits and pieces of my daily life. I don't do my agenda or I don't do, you know, bullet journaling or any of that. But it seems to suit my needs personally. I seem to have a setup that works really well for me. And I like and I'm comfortable with. So I hope you liked my little walkthrough. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me an email. Or, yeah, if you like it. Um, let me know if you would have done something different or have an idea of how I could do it bad, better next time. Let me know. And I'm definitely a huge Midori fan now. I'm sold off. I'm actually waiting for a leather one to come. I've decided I love it so much. We're going to take the next big step and, um, you know, make the conversion. But I don't see ever banding in the sky. It will always be my first and favorite, and it's handmade, so it'll have a place in my heart. And, yeah, I'll keep it for a long, long time. So thanks for taking time to watch and explore my Midori with me, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.